Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 some reason I've lost my phone that I usually make videos with so I'm hoping this will work um, This is my last reading for the end of the year So this is a tarot, love and advice reading But I also want to do some messages for Christmas So I'm going to start off with the Christmas messages And then we'll get on to the rest of the reading <clears throat> So we have joy. So be in the energy of joy right now. We have that special um, conjunction and it's important that you're in a high vibration like joy, love, compassion. Don't let what's going on in the world drag you down into those dark, fearful energies. Sweet love. Somebody's got sweet love for you. Yeah, declarations of love for some of you coming in. Yeah, fool around, have fun, have joy in your life with your family, with your friends. Even if you're on your own, you can still have a laugh. Yeah, act childlike, you know, get into that child energy, that fun energy. Feel free, really enjoy yourselves, despite what's going on in the world. You're going to be getting some special gifts from the heart. So this, you know, this could be about somebody declaring their feelings for you. Okay, that's what that could mean for some of you. Yeah, someone's been admiring you from afar here, I feel. And maybe they're going to have the um, guts to come forward and tell you how they're feeling. Yeah, that some people could be travelling right now. I know travelling the world is difficult, but somebody could be travelling to see you. Or they could be away right now for work or business. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of love around, okay? So soak in that energy of love, be the angel of love in people's lives. And to become one, so some of you could be getting together with someone special over the holiday. Someone could be declaring how they're feeling about you. Yeah, you could be, have got love letters, you could receive a text or an email or an actual letter or possibly a card where someone's declaring how they feel to you right now. Yeah, we've got secret feelings. So someone has had secret feelings for you here. And together at last. So there could be some of you that are actually going to get together with somebody at last that you've not been able to see. Yeah, and that could culminate in some explosive desire, a lot of passion here for some of you. So that's very nice. So then we've got my Wish Upon a Star Oracle. And I just wanted to look at some lucky messages. So we've got count your blessings, see them increase, fortune cookie, so maybe if you, there's a special special message in a fortune cookie, if some of you have Chinese meals, Chinese takeaways, some of you there could be baby news that it's twins on the way for some of you, make a wish, yeah, it's important to always make a wish, keep your dreams alive, and see a penny pick it up, you will have good luck, so just focus on the luck, not the negative. Yeah, lucky news. You're going to be getting some good news. And a guy you like likes you, so that's lovely. There's going to be a change of luck in your life coming in, so that's beautiful. Yeah, a pot of gold, that's abundance coming in. So keep positive. And the girl you like likes you, so that's mutual energy there. And change of fortune. There's good, going to be a good change of fortune coming in soon. And some of you, there could be marriage news. This could be in your family or this could be to do with you. Some of you could be winning some money. So put a bet on or buy a lottery ticket. Yeah, sudden change. Sudden change is coming in. And remember, you are a star. No matter what, you are a star. Okay? So beautiful messages. So now we're going to get your overall energy. So this is a reading till the end of the month. Because I've got family here and I don't know when I'll be able to do another reading. So we've got destiny, hope and freedom. So yes, know that this is your destiny. You know, whatever is going to happen is destined. Have hope in your heart for the future. And keep your freedom. You know, be free in your life. Don't let other people you know restrict you make your own choices in your own way you know know that you have the freedom to do that you are free so let's get your tarot so we have the tree of life what's that judgment coins 
Sovereign Coins, Star, Queen of Wands, The Hermit, Three of Coins, Three of Wands, Two of Cups, Palace of Wands, The Lovers, Priestess, High Priestess, Fool, Six of Swords, Eight of Wands, King of Swords, Page of Coins, Four of Wands, Queen of Coins, and the Palace of Swords. So let's clarify these. So the Tree of Life, I just feel this is about, maybe this is to do with your family, you know, your family tree, your family situation. And this could be some of you getting together with your family, you know, different generations. Some people obviously are able to get together we're sadly not able to over here in the UK so we've got two of swords so there's some indecision here over what what you want to do moving forward so then we've got judgment so things are going to happen for a reason we've got page one so you could be receiving a pas passionate message okay you could be hearing from someone that has a lot of passion for you we've got the seven of coins energy so this is about you know really working hard and really focusing on our finances and wanting to reap the rewards of that so you will be rewarded and we've got the knight of wands energy here so we've got somebody who's full of passion for you they could be younger than you they could be coming to see you and we have the star energy so this could be a wish you know we've got that conjunction they say that was when you know, the Star of Bethlehem was when we had that massive conjunction before. So this could be a significant turning point for a lot of you, okay? So why is the Star here? Yeah, you've been going through difficult times. You felt burdened. There's been a lot going on. It's been a, a terrible time for a lot of people. But you're coming out of that. The Nine is the end of that cycle. And this could be you, the Queen of Wands. You're in that energy. You're feeling, you know, in a good place, you're energised, you're passionate, you're driven, you know, you're attracting a lot of attention. So why is the Queen of Wands here? Five of Coins. So, you know, there could have been hardships that you've gone through, as I say, in the past, but you're coming out of that energy and you're not going to be in a much better place. And we've got the Hermit, so some time as alone was... <clears throat> was used and we've got ten of cups energy here so you're wanting this for yourself moving forward you're wanting that happy commitment with somebody and then we've got three of coins you want you're going to want to build together and we've got the full that's new beginnings you're wanting that new beginning with somebody special that love connection and yeah you're waiting on that you know three of one uh three of ones you're waiting on that you're waiting on for these things to come into your life to to come to fruition and we have the three of cups and you're you're going to want to celebrate you know celebrate your life and then we have the two of cups so there's definitely a connection here for you someone's going to want to share their cup of love with you and we've got page of coins so there's going to be a, a proper offer on the table here and with palace of wands this is about you know this is the ultimate in the wands energy which is that action that passion that desire so you're going to have that you know really passionate connection with somebody here yeah this could be a reconnection we've got the six of cups here so this is a reconnection with somebody you could be twin flame soulmate energy yeah confirmation again with the lovers this is a twin flame soulmate you're going to have a passionate reconnection here for some of you yeah queen of wands energy again so you're you know feminines out there you're in that fiery passionate driven energy you know you're really knowing what you're wanting and what you want to go after and we've got the full card so it's about that new beginning we've got the full card twice taking that leap of faith into the future and we've got the ace of cups so this is to do with love you're taking that leap of faith into love into a new beginning in love you're leaving the past behind with the six of swords you're, you're smoothing into uh, sailing into smoother waters you know, your person could be a King of Swords, an Air Sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody that's up in their head, very logical normally. But maybe they've got in touch more with their feelings. 
we've got the passion here we've got the eight of wands so there's you know a passionate uh wish to come forward to communicate to take some action here yeah we've got the death card so it's the end of a cycle and you're coming into a new cycle a new beginning here and you could be in that high priestess energy you know you're you're go you've gone within you're very connected to your intuition to your higher self and you don't actually communicate a lot but you know what you want yeah temperance so you've worked on yourself you've worked on that inner balance and you're trusting in divine timing and we've got king of swords energy again so strong air energy here Lib uh, aquarius libra gemini so this could be your person for some of you yeah because we've got five of wands in the past there was possibly conflict within your connection or or with with internally with this person between heart and mind and we've got page of coins again so there's a definite offer kind of come in on the table here yeah they're wanting success they're wanting victory here in this connection and they want that stability of you four of wands they want that stability they want to build something they want that commitment moving forward and we've got eight of wands energy here so again they're wanting that passionate start they want to communicate to you we've got queen of wands coins this could be some of you out there this could be earth sign energy taurus Virgo, capricorn or you're in that energy you're very nurturing you're very kind you're very loving and they really admire you greatly we've got the tower energy so the tower energy comes in to shake things up to really get things moving so something could be occurring um, for this connection to move forward and then we've got the palace of swords and uh, to me that is the ultimate in the swords energy that is air sign that is logic your intellect your mind so someone has got clarity they've got really clear thoughts about what they want for themselves yeah because there's been heartbreak here there's been heartbreak you know there's been pain there's been separation and they're wanting an end to this so let's get some more messages why is the three of swords there yeah the time is turning you know the wheel of fortune is here you know there's a new cycle beginning you know we're starting a new 20 year cycle you know we're going into aquarius the age of aquarius things are going to be changing there's going to be a lot of fast changing situations and we've got the star so this is that wish fulfillment you know that you know this is what you wanted and with king of cups energy your person is very much in touch with their feelings with their emotions and we've got that clarity with the ace of swords they're really wanting that they know what they want and they're going for it basically so i just wanted to get some moon energies because we've got a full moon on the 30th so we've got it's time to take action yes new moon in aries a new start is coming luck is on your side and you're close to achieving your goals so things are coming full cycle and you're coming into a new cycle if that makes sense so now we're going to get some romance messages so this is my new deck a gothic love story so we've let's see we've got missing someone so i feel that's mutual energies for for those of you connecting with this reading and they they wonder are you too good to be drew they've they've doubted that you are genuine um, but in the future some of you are going to meet each other's families I feel it's going to become serious and you're going to start dating each other regularly yeah they want to begin to court you that's the old-fashioned term but to really you know be a couple, proper couple then you might go invited away for a dirty weekend some of you some of you might be having a fun day out on the river or a fun day out together you're person is a handsome man you know someone quite good looking and it's mutual love and respect here in this connection so that's beautiful so what else have we got yeah free yourself so if you were involved in any other situation you know disconnect cut cords you know give yourself that space and freedom to attract someone else in calling in your soulmate so yeah you know do the work you know do prayers affirmations to call in your soulmate or to reconnect with your soulmate or twin flame 
There could be children in this connection, you know, one or both of you could have children already from other relationships, which obviously affect the connection. But there's such a mutual attraction here and romantic love. Um, you could have had a separation from this person because of codependency issues. You could have both had codependency issues in other relationships and this needed to be healed. So time apart was needed. And love yourself first, you know, have that self-respect to make you make yourself more romantically attractive to others. Yeah, retreat, that's like the dirty weekend, you know. Maybe you're going to get invited away and have that time alone with somebody to really connect. And express your love, don't be afraid. You know, make that romantic gesture, express how you're feeling to each other. And we've got new love, so some of you are going to have new love coming in, and some of you it could be a reconnection in a situation, but it's going to be like a brand new start for this. Yeah, this spiritual growth is occurring right now in this connection, and it individually. Yeah, you're very creative, you've inspired each other creatively, and you're going through a period of change right now. And, you know, you, some of you have become more self-aware of what your gifts and talents are um, with regard to your spiritual side. And forgiveness is needed here. So this could be forgiveness for yourself or others. Very powerful forgiveness energy and love. Be in the energy of love, okay? Love yourself and have love for the world, for your fellow humans on this planet right now. It's so important. So let's get your guidance for the end of the rest of the month. Joy. Joy is the highest energy of all. It's a magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at the highest possible levels. So be in that energy of joy. Steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings and actions of love. Beautiful. Cupid, we send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all its glorious aspects. So as I say, there is love in the air for a lot of you. Listen, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to the gentle reassurance. Everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet, receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request. Listen. So get out of that fear energy, okay? Just try and relax yourself. Time to go. The sun sets and rises each day. It's the same with the other news in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. So yes, we are coming into a brand new cycle. Giving and receiving. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your own inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, give or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. So it's having that balance of give and take in your life in all in all ways. And a message from Mother Mary. So she's saying nurture yourself. So it's very important to always nurture yourself, you know, before you try and nurture others. It says you've given a lot of yourself lately and now it's time to give something to yourself. You've drawn this card because you need to nurture yourself. This means taking good care of your body through sleep, detoxification and exercise. It also means taking care of your needs as you would for others. To have more energy, abundance and peace, purpose and everything you desire, nurture yourself. So good advice Sarah, especially over the holiday season. And we've got choose peace, Paramahansa Yogananda. So peace, I always, you know, have a little mantra I say... At bedtime, peace. I always say peace. I always automatically, when I say that, I always automatically feel peaceful. You know, I choose peace. In this situation, choose the path of peace. As you think about your various options and possible outcomes, which brings the greatest feeling of peace to your body and mind, this is your answer. 
So listen to your heart's truth, okay? This is always the peaceful alternative to conflict. And your peacefulness elevates your energy and helps you manifest your desires. Meditate, do yoga as a way of attaining inner peace. So inner peace is especially important right now. Do not get involved in the lower energies. Work your magic, Saint Germain. And I think Saint Germain is the one that is um, in charge of the violet flame, which you can pull in to help you to clear energy to protect you. You have the power to resolve the situation you're inquiring about. This card signifies your untapped magical abilities, which you've used successfully in the past. Pull these abilities out of storage and use them to work your magic. Clear and focus intentions. Positive expectations, prayers, decrees and action steps all create the healings and manifestations you desire. So you have that power within you, okay? He's letting you know you have that power to manifest your desires. So messages from the Keepers of Light, Kuan Yin, care and compassion. Choose to be loved, do what is right for everyone involved, offer a helping hand. So be in that energy of love right now, it's so important. Serapis Bay, Ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness, the light is here, exactly. Don't get pulled into the lower energies. Don't get pulled into the fear, the scaremongering. Rise into your true self. Master Jesus, forgiveness. You're on the path of light, love and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So again, we've got forgiveness here. So some of you need to forgive yourselves and forgive others. And there could be father, feeling, father healing involved here for some of you. Diana, focus intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible, possible outcome. So again, back to manifestation. Focus intention. What is it you truly desire for yourself? Focus on that. Set your sights high and expect the best for yourself. And then we have Bridget, inner strength. Move back to wholeness and recognise you have the power. Again, confirmation. Look at that fire she's holding in her hands. That's the passionate energy that you have. And with the green of the heart chakra, open your heart to give and receive love. Play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Yeah, lighten up, have that joy in your life. The great gathering is all coming together, intuitive hit soul tribe. So you may connect with a soul tribe or you may already be connected. And there are going to be a lot of gatherings on, you know, on this 21st um, energy shift. You know, there's going to be lots of meditations online. If you can't be anywhere, you can join in a meditation and make a difference. And we have the Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. So a lot of you here are light workers, star seeds. You're here to help with raising the consciousness of this planet and the energy of this planet right now. So Archangel Michael, admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. So you know the truth. Sense of humour. I'm willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. So never lose your sense of humour. It's so important, especially right now. Your home is protected by angels. He wants you to know that your home, your finances, everything is protected. Call on Archangel Michael if you ever feel you know, you need in need of that protection. And we have new beginnings and a fresh start, which is, you know, a good thing because we're coming into that new year. Fill me with trust as I experience life changes. So, yeah, you're coming into a new chapter of your life, okay? So, some guidance. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. So, be open. You know, be open to receiving this abundance. Navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. So yes, follow your bliss, what makes you happy, you know, what's going to give you that feeling of bliss. So I want to wish you all a very happy Christmas, a peaceful Christmas, a healthy Christmas and a peaceful, happy, healthy new year. I hope to do some readings again after Christmas. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen, but um, I will be back on posting again. But sending you lots of love, light, joy, peace, compassion. Thank you so much for all your support over this past year. And I look forward to new experiences with you all in the new year. Many blessings. Take care.